We're married. We're married. Again. Well, yeah, we celebrated our marriage. Again. Like, again. <laughs> again. Yeah, well, our wedding video is coming soon. And then that will explain again. Yeah. For the hundredth time why we had another wedding. Yeah, well, we didn't really have a wedding the first time. That's the whole point. There it is. There it is. So please do not comment. I thought you already got married. Yes, we did. Yeah, but we didn't get to celebrate. But we didn't get to celebrate with our family. Yeah. So last weekend was the family wedding. But there is a video coming soon. Some people have been like, is there not going to be a, a video or photos? But it's coming soon. Wait until you see Hannah's dress. It blew my mind and my eyes and my soul and my loins. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. It blew everything. It was amazing. <laughs> but a question that we want to address now while we're putting together our wedding video. Mm -hmm. Everyone at the wedding was like, what are you doing for your honeymoon? Yeah. Where are you going? In our answer. It was such a sad yeah, every time we'd be like, Oh well, not nothing right now. Like, we're not we're just gonna stay here for right now. Like when we do a honeymoon, we don't want it to be, you know, a f we don't want to book a honeymoon and then find out that like that country has now closed its borders or you know, the state that we're going to has a ton of cases. Like yeah. we just don't want to do it during a pandemic. So we're holding off on our honeymoon, but we're doing like a staycation. Yeah, a couple days after the wedding, Hannah and I were talking about like you know, our honeymoon, not doing one, and yeah. we were like, you know what, let's take this week yeah. after our wedding and treat ourselves. <laughs> um, so it's been a treat yourself week, yep. and we would like to thank Cascade Hospitality for giving us a few gift cards to their restaurants that you'll see that we've used yes. during this video. <laughs> it's one of those days where the little whales are wilting and weeping. Those are those are birds, Shin. It's quite rainy out here. Makes you feel a bit fancy. It does, huh? Since we are not... Since we are... I'm losing it. You never had it. Why since, don't you just go back to your regular voice? Since we are not headed out on a long vacate. There's someone walking down the road. That's the pool people. And I'm screaming <laughs> in a British accent. Anyway, since we're not going on a vacate, we figured it's a rainy day. Might as well head down to the local Brits pub. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more to it than what Shane's saying, but why don't we move into somewhere private where you can keep talking and doing whatever you want to do in private? I was yelling. <laughs> All right, Shane's right that the rainy weather does remind us of London. However, he could have just said it just like that and then been done with it. But we are going to Brit's Pub, which is a restaurant in Minneapolis that we've been to before that we absolutely love. Guess what the theme is? Yeah, guess what the theme is? It's a British pub. <laughs> We're in London. No, Minneapolis. <laughs> they say in London, the music lives inside all of us. We made it to Brit's Pub. I'm really not doing well at my accent. No, it's horrible. I need to practice all these. Brit's Pub is everything that I love about a restaurant. Everything I love about life in yeah. a restaurant. This is Shane's ideal place to go. It's literally like just a British pub, very sports, Oriented, there's like soccer, memorabilia everywhere. A lot of dark wood. Oh, I love the dark wood. <laughs> I also had a really good beer, a Newcastle Brown Ale, I believe. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so bad. It was hard to suck. I can do it. But. That's as much as you can move it. No, it does. I'm good at it. But really, it did make us feel like we were in London. Yeah. Like, it was raining outside, and it was like cozy, warm, dark wood <laughs> on the inside. Just felt like we were in London. We loved it. I loved it. First, we got the appetizer sampler, which is a, a sampler of their best appetizers, like four of them. Which we never do, because then we don't end up using our main meal. But this is stay at home, treat yourself, please. So we got the appetizer sampler. And we took a bunch of it home and, and we it, ate it. <laughs> it did not disappoint. And, you know, normally when you get an appetizer sampler, 
it can be a little lackluster yeah. at other places. This oh, blew our minds. My God. The mac and cheese bites are my new favorite food. Well, I want to talk about the scotch eggs, my new favorite oh, food. I loved them. I loved them. <laughs> it was good because we both really liked different parts of it. So yeah. Like, she got all the scotch eggs. <laughs> I got all the mac and cheese guys. Yep. And then the fried fish. Yep. Like the chips. Or no, fish, no, the fish. Like the fish that comes with the fish and chips. Yeah. Whatever. The, oh, <laughs> melt in your mouth fish. Perfect fry. Uh, and some delicious chicken tenders. Like we have more in the refrigerator <laughs> left over, and now I'm ready to like. You're ready to go. Wrap this up and go <laughs> eat that right now. So for our entrees, I got a chicken pot pie, and Shane got uh, a giant basket of french fries with tikka masala curry sauce to dip in, basically. My ideal meal, french fries and sauce. I saw it on the menu and I was like, this is my ideal dish. <laughs> it's a basket of french fries, which I love, and a sauce to dip them in. And you need, like, they don't really do that here, like the curry yeah. to dip. They do in London, and I'm a big fan of it. And of course, I adored my chicken pot pie. It was a hefty pot pie. It was so good, and I peeled the whole top off, didn't leave a single scrap of the top. It was big. I couldn't finish the inside, so I took that home, but there was not a single shred of pastry dough left. <laughs> you're all about the pastry. Yeah, the waitress was like, okay. She was like, no, you're supposed to eat the inside. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of the meal, by far, for me, was the creme brulee at the end, which they call burnt creme. We were like, I'm sure what to call it. I know. And I was like, is it burnt creme? <laughs> burnt like cream? Burnt cream? But it was spelled creme. Anyway, it was the, okay. I mean, the top, like the crust, the burnt part, was the brulee part, was so thick. And underneath there was like some sugar that hadn't gotten burnt. Oh my God, it was the best thing I've ever had in my it, entire life. It was no, you know when creme brulee has like the, paper thin little layer on top. Yeah, which like. is maybe like more traditional. I don't know. This was the best thing I've ever eaten. It was it was a it was a thick. Yeah. A thick brulee. And that's my favorite part. It was <laughs> I'm speechless. Candle light to brulee. Pretty thick, I would say. Overall Brits Pub was absolutely amazing. This was only our like third time being there. Um but it really cemented for me that we need to eat there way more often. Definitely. <laughs> so on the next night of our staycation, we went out to what is one of our favorite restaurants in the entire world. Yep. We're about to have dinner at what is arguably maybe our favorite restaurant. Yeah. Uh, Crave. In the Galleria. It's right over there. Crave has an incredible menu from their delicious french fries to their sushi to their burgers. Seafood. Yeah, it's just a great restaurant. And there are a couple locations that we frequent. <laughs> One at the Mall of America, another location in downtown Minneapolis that has a rooftop that is really, really cute. It's accessible. And accessible. They have an elevator to get to the rooftop, which isn't that common. It was a little bit rainy this week, so we didn't go to the rooftop one. Yes. Um, but this parade was at the Galleria, which is very close to where we live. Yep. So we hop over there whenever we're, you know, yeah. feeling like we want some delicious food. Mm -hmm. I always order the same thing, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> excited? I'm unbelievably excited. I already know what I'm getting. That's a little bit embarrassing. It's not even a joke. One of my favorite things about Crave is their little list of non-alcoholic beverages that are fancy, <laughs> like their no hito instead of a mojito. They have like a blueberry one. They have some awesome lemonades. Like I just, I really appreciate the non-alcoholic drinks that aren't just yeah. like s the sodas. You I know? appreciate it too because I like to get ridiculous drinks, like my angry dragon <laughs> martini. You know, but if there's only like soda available for Hannah, sometimes I feel bad that I'm yeah. like having a great little drink experience, and Hannah's like, I have my seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a ton of non-alcoholic drinks there. Fun for him. I love that. Tell them I got a martini. I got the pineapple no hito, which is alcohol free, and Shane got the angry dragon martini, which he's really excited about. He told me it's red. I was like, okay. I'm excited. Here I am looking at the menu, even though I know I'm going to get the same thing that I always order my Chilean sea bass 
with risotto. They have plant-based and gluten-sensitive separate menus, which are really useful. We took my parents there when they visited for my birthday because my mom is gluten-free. Yeah. And we were so excited to be like, look, they have a ton of options yeah. that you can order. She, she loved, loved it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Justine's drink. Red just like he thought it would be. <laughs> it looks so good. Are you excited? I am, yeah. This is why we get really well together. I really love my martini. Anna really hates it. She doesn't like alcohol. But she likes my sugar rim. <laughs> I don't really care for the sugar rim. So she ran around and lit the whole rim. <laughs> and now I'm good to go. Anyone watching is like, what the heck? <laughs> the appetizers were amazing. We got the chicken avocado egg rolls. Like, see, that's so unique. And they were delicious. Yep. You got the truffle fries. Yeah, with their yeah. rosemary aioli, which I love. And I always ask for an extra one to bring home with my extra fries. It's so yummy. Oh my god. Oh. The sea bass falls apart in your mouth. Full of flavor. Tender. Juicy. Amazing. The risotto. Lord help me. So... So good. And I got the shrimp and scallop pasta, which was delicious. Ready for this move? <laughs> Again, Crave is one of our favorite restaurants. We adore it. But now it is time for a third <laughs> dinner date. <laughs> Another meal. Did you really think that our staycation would be about anything other than food. I know. We're just going to different restaurants we love. We are. This is the last one, sadly, but yeah. it was a good one. Time for another delicious dinner brought to you by my socks. What? Can you show them? Your fuzzy socks? The fact that you're wearing them? I figured if we're going to go out for a wonderful, wonderful meal, I need to be wearing my wonderful, wonderful socks. Oh my god. You're looking all like pretty and fancy and cute, and I'm like, Hi! <laughs> These are my fuzzy socks. <laughs> I even asked you if you wanted to switch into regular socks, and you said no. When they asked us, Are you here for any special occasion? I'm gonna be like, Oh! <laughs> you probably thought that because of my socks. No, no, we're not. But I can see why you would think that. Oh yeah. The socks are really fancy. I, I feel terrible for myself. I am not gonna lie, I already looked at the menu. Very excited. So our third and final restaurant is Boulevard, which is the only one of these three that we have never been to before. And it did not disappoint. Boulevard is a really fun place to hang out. Yeah. I don't know how to describe I know. the vibe. Wait, American? It's like American. Funky, slightly fancy. Let me get let me get a professional description. Of this. Yeah, I'm not just. I don't know if they go as funky and slightly fancy. <laughs> Google says, "Fuzzy upscale bistro serving American bar and grill eats amid exposed brick and reclaimed wood decor." Exactly. That is exactly yeah. what I was getting to. <laughs> the, you were gonna say that exactly. The exposed brick. No, but we sat in an area that was like surrounded by brick, and it was yeah. again a really cozy yeah like just like and i felt like i was receiving a hug while i ate dinner wow and they have like a like open it, air kitchen yeah you can kind of see people cooking it was really neat i am a sucker for sangria <laughs> i was just getting i was up taking a video out that window behind me and I was like, I, I said to Shane before I took it, I hope no one, you know, I hope our waiter doesn't come over. This will be embarrassing. And so I'm over there at the window filming and all of a sudden Shane <laughs> yells, coming, <laughs> to alert me that the waiter was coming. And then that was even worse than if he had just let it happen. But I was like, I was just taking a video, it's fine. And he was like, you were hunched over. Like I was at the window. <laughs> it was like, it looked really weird. I was being helpful. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I don't know her. <laughs> For appetizers, we got mussels and the best french fries ever. I did not say enough about the french fries. Oh my God. 
I was saying. I don't want to be presumptuous, but those fries look like maybe the best fries that I'll ever have. <laughs> Those fries are amazing. They are so easy to bite through, and Shane has his eyes closed the entire time. They are so good. They're the truffle fries with gorgonzola cream. Amazing. Dipping sauce, they are fantastic. And if anyone knows French fries, it's us. As you can see, I was a big fan of the French fries. I, I still, to this day, they were the best fries I've ever eaten. I told Shane that in the video, he, he talked about the fries enough, like we got it. And he was like, no, I just need to say one more thing. I, they, they, I, something about the crunch and the tenderness to, to death, I. And the gorgonzola cream sauce. Everything. The general I told her, well, they were so good. <laughs> I sent like photos to every person in my phone. <laughs> I was like, what am I eating right now? And they were like, it's like French fries. I was like, <laughs> they are the French fries. <laughs> They were really, really good. For our entrees, I got beet salad. I think it had a fancier name than that. I can't remember it, but it was like a beet salad. It was yummy. You liked it? It was delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of beets. I'm a big fan of risotto. <laughs> so I got, what was it? Ris uh, shrimp risotto. Shrimp risotto. Yeah. Again, wonderful. Yep. You can't go wrong with a good risotto. Mm -hmm. So I order that everywhere I go. <laughs> Thank you. Right. It was so dark in there, it's shocking that it's like daylight out here. We went to dinner early. Oh, That was so yummy, right? Yeah, it was really good. Really, really good. Shane's favorite French fries ever. Like, not a joke. No. Those are, I'm, I'm here. Okay. Not a joke. <laughs> Those are my favorite fries I've ever had. Wow. That's into a lot of harms. So, oh, that doesn't look right. Looks there we go. We're into the arms. This is not a normal way to sit. For the end of the video. Thank you for joining us at our staycation. Yeah. We've also been having movie nights yep. together. We've been laying by the pool. Yep. We've been taking Chloe on lots of walks. Yeah. Pretty much normal life. I know. But we've been eating out more. Uh-huh. And a little bit more relaxed, you know, less work. We'll put links to all the restaurants that we love down in the below yep. here. Check them out. And thank you again to Cascade for the gift cards. Really appreciate that. Yes. All right. We'll see you in our wedding video, which is hopefully coming up very oh, soon. Oh, you're putting the pressure on there. Well, I'm not saying it's going to be like the next video, <laughs> but it's it's coming. It's 100% coming soon. It will be soon. I just want people to know that there will be a wedding video. Yeah. It's just not ready yet. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Maybe we should redo this not locking arms. No, that looks good. Ah.